everyone, welcome to diorama update number 68. Today we're going to be going over another Normandy diorama, which is Operation Cobra, and then another Horizon Island Defense Work build, which is my first big diorama for the HIDF. So, uh, lots to go over today, but uh, let's go ahead and jump into the Normandy build. Um, since this one is, I'll be kind of doing this one first. Uh, this is not the base I'll be using, it's just a rough cut, but this is essentially, this is essentially the size I'll be using for the Normandy diorama. Uh, what it is, it's a uh, hedgerows with a puma that's stuck on a road, and the crew members are looking at a map, and then it's got a American recon patrol sneaking up on them. So this right here, as well as this, will be a dirt road. These blue squigglies right here will be hedgerows. If you've seen my D-Day diorama with the paratroopers, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, this will be grass. This will all be grass, bushes, and whatnot. And then these big red circles, which should have depression lines, but I forgot to put them in there. Uh, those are mortar blast graders. Uh, didn't know Operation Cobra had a lot of bombings and uh, you know, CAS runs as well as mortars. Big emphasis on, uh, on HE during Operation Cobra. So I want to show that uh, by implementing you know, the blast craters and whatnot. Uh, so basically the Puma is going to be here facing that way. The two crew members will be on top. You'll see them in a moment. There's going to be some kind of trap here. I, I was thinking about putting a, a tree down, maybe a tank stop, maybe some tank mines. I'm not too sure yet. But essentially they're stopped. They can't go forward and they're out looking at their map to try to find a new route where to go. And the vehicle's on, so it's kind of noisy. Uh, you got this field, and then over here you'll have a bunch of Americans running this way with a stone wall, part of a fence, and then essentially would be the, the gate to this field. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Lots of hedgerows. I'm even thinking of adding like a killed in action American somewhere in here with like his parachute hanging down and a German tarp put over him so they showed some kind of respect. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. But uh, this will be about two inches tall, uh, 14 inches long, but I think it's 11 inches wide. Uh, I think that's about what we're going for. But uh, we'll see. Maybe getting dimensions mixed up there. But with that, I have built the Puma, which was a blast. This is the Italeri Puma. Uh, really fun to do. I added texture to the vehicle by scratching it up. Uh, ignore my excessive amount of glue. I had shaky hands. But uh, really fun stuff. Added, I really hate doing jerry cans. So the jerry can holders I just put on tomato tape with the photo etch buckles to make it look like they used uh, or lost, whatever, the jerry cans. Fun stuff. I need to make, I need to drill a hole and make a, a, an antenna there, an antenna there. Then we got a bunch of stowage I gotta go ahead and get all nice and glued down on here. And then I'm gonna start painting it. Um, the two crew members, thank you to Floki's Models for sending these to me a while back. Uh, these are from Venerlin Productions. Very nice. Uh, they'll be sitting on the turret, kind of like that. Uh, actually, I've got the picture right here of how it's supposed to look. And I'll be using this as a reference photo to uh, paint them. So, added some uh, metal foil to look like the bands for their headsets, and I'll probably add the wires also. Camo scheme I'm going to be going for is this one, unknown unit, Western Front, 1944. And then so far I've gotten three Americans uh, built. I'm still waiting for the others to come in the mail. But here you've got this really nice, nicely detailed U.S. rifleman who is aiming and ready to fire. Uh, very, very nice looking figure. I cannot wait to paint this guy. Then you got this guy who is a medic. He's going to be sitting with the, uh, the rifleman over here. That guy, and they're going to be sitting on this corner facing the Puma. So basically, this rifleman will be able to see the Puma crew, but the Puma crew is too distracted and the troops are behind him so they don't see him. Uh, and then you got this uh, this US NCO. Like dude's got a nice Thompson. I had to give him a new magazine since the one in the, or since his Thompson didn't come with one. Uh, gave him a sling, extra ammo pouches, and yeah, super stoked to be painting that guy as well. Uh, really looking forward to doing Operation Cobra. I've been wanting to do an Operation Cobra diorama for a little while, but uh, yeah. So next, the Horizon Island Defense Force. So if you don't know anything about the HIDF, at the end of this video, I will link a video. It'll be like right here at the end, uh, showing the T-62 I made. I think I go in depth a little bit about the HIDF at that point, but if I don't, essentially the HIDF is a fictional faction, basically off-brand Fiji and uh, a lot of Cold War from both sides, uh, weaponry thrown together. So, uh, going through the figures real quick of what I've got. I, mean, I need to get one more figure. He's coming in the mail. 
Very nicely detailed. This is a crew member of the M114. This is another crew member for the M114, holding up a peace sign. You got your local photographer here, getting ready to take a picture. Uh, I've got their weapons laid out too, so the uh, commander will have this weird little um, SMG. Uh, that crewman won't have anything, the cameraman won't have anything. This rifleman here, or a radio operator, uh, he's smoking a cigarette with the uh, radio and a beret. He has a very nice FAL, which if you don't know, I absolutely love the FAL. Uh, which the FAL is a big weapon in the HIDF, which is really cool. Uh, but then you got this guy who's kind of sitting there laughing, his hands up. I uh, try to make it look like he's grabbing his chest and laughing. His other arm will be holding his rifle, but he's got a big goofy grin. Uh, that's because I've got this tow jeep. Uh, basically, I'll have the driver up front and the passenger in the back, back right. Uh, the driver, I don't have both of his arms glued in yet. But, uh, and I did a lot of converting with these. I still got to fill in some gaps like right there. But he's pointing back and with his other arm on the steering wheel, pointing back at the new guy or whoever the hell this is, who is sleeping. I have totally forgot I had this figure's head, but it works out perfectly. Uh, I had to do some converting for his arm too, but essentially he's just going to be asleep in the back. And then they've got their helmets, FAL, and then their, I think it's a G3. Probably wrong on that. Uh, and then you got two more riflemen who will be sitting in fighting holes underneath the bridge. Uh, or I said one more rifleman and then a, um, basically our automatic rifleman, the guy with the wannabe soul. Uh, so these guys will be sitting in foxholes. Uh, actually, actually got a drawing set up. So if you're looking at the uh, diorama from the side, it's gonna be kind of a hill going up and then a big concrete block and then the highway road. And I got these up, uh, these little, cylinder things, which is perfect for the supports, as well as uh, hatching plaster, which is amazing for, uh, you know, plaster, it's ready-made plaster, just slap it on, easy to sand if you need be. Uh, so it'll be two supports, the road up top, uh, some lights up there, and then underneath this will be a dirt road, the M114, which you can see there, two supports, some fighting holes going up, and then the tow jeep coming in with a bunch of bread and trash bags right there, which is what those are, and then I'll make homemade trash bags and some other stuff. Basically, um, the so I took this from one of the maps in game. This is the ocean, and it leads into a big river. Uh, in this river, there's a big highway going across, and then I'm, I'm, the diorama area is right here. So they're pretty much waiting for invading forces to come this way to try to come up this river. Uh, so they're kind of the, the first bit of resistance on this part of the island. But, uh, it's gonna be a really fun diorama. I can't wait. We've got the tow jeep and the M114. Haven't started those yet because I've been working on this stuff this weekend. But uh, we're getting close to uh, breaking ground on that one. But the video's gone on long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Stay safe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.